Welcome to the channel. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has given the most honest insight into the world of Manchester United yet. In an interview with The Overlap, he provided some interesting and revealing insights and quite frankly some shocking stories about his time at United. From the players refusing to be captain to missing out on transfers, here are some of the biggest bombshells we learned from the interview. Number one, Erlen Haaland. So Solskjaer revealed that United had enough chances to sign Haaland on the cheap. He recommended signing him to the club in 2018 when he was manager at Molder and recommended him again when he became caretaker manager, but the club decided against Serling Haaland for 20 million euros, which was his release clause at the time. This is one I'm not surprised about as we already heard this. And I don't think Haaland would have necessarily signed for us anyway with the whole Roy Keane, City and Leeds links. It goes back to a video I did yesterday about the club not wanting to sign young and up and coming players. And I'll leave that video on the end screen if you want to check it out after. But it's just another example of the club not wanting to buy young promising players, which is frustrating. Number two, Ronaldo's impact. So Solskjaer admitted that while he agreed Ronaldo was a good signing, in the end it backfired. And he also stated that his signing had a big impact on the team's playing style and that ultimately it didn't work out for him and for Ronaldo. And I agree with that. Number three, Jude Bellingham. Solskjaer shared the club's effort to sign Jude Bellingham, highlighting that Sir Alex Ferguson, Brian Robson and Eric Cantona met him during his visit at Old Trafford. But Bellingham wanted a certain amount of playing time in the first team and Oli did claim that Bellingham already knew what he wanted. Number four, captain refusal. Solskjaer revealed that certain players, particularly from the younger generation, would refuse to be captain for specific games. Solskjaer said that he felt this was petty and showed a lack of ambition. And to make it worse, the refusal wasn't direct but came through intermediaries meaning that players would tell other players or agents to then tell the manager that they didn't want to be captain. Gary Neville agreed that this was worrying. And for me, it highlights the types of characters we've had at United or still have at United. Number five, scared players. In a similar story, Solskjaer admitted that some players were scared to do pre-match interviews, expressing concerns about potential questions and reactions. He did recognise, though, that the players fear and also considered the impact it could have on their mental health, showing understanding from the player's perspective. Number six, Declan Rice. Declan Rice was the one player that Manchester United could and should have bought, according to Solskjaer. Solskjaer expressed regret over not pursuing Declan Rice, praising his attributes such as covering the pitch, improved playmaking and his overall contribution to midfield. Number seven, the transfer process. Solskjaer claimed that United scouts would very rarely miss a talent, but there would be a number of people that would have to agree on a transfer before it was approved, and suggested that the scouting process was maybe too thorough, stating that all the relevant departments had a veto on transfers, and emphasised that he, the scouts and the owners all had a say in player signings. The question I have on this is if we're thorough or too thorough on scouting, then why have we failed so badly at recruitment over the last few years? Because with thorough scouting, surely we would have more hits in the transfer market than misses. And personally, I think we've had more misses. And eight, his final game. Solskjaer's final game at United came in a 4-1 defeat at Watford. He said that during the match, he knew his time was up. But Solskjaer revealed the emotional impact on the final game as United manager stating that he knew he was getting sacked at half time against Watford. And he said that in the team talk during half time, players were given the choice to play or not and stated that some players were in tears. Interestingly, though, Scott McTominay and Rashford were subbed off at half time. Make of that as you will. If you haven't watched the interview, then I encourage you to do so. As for me, it highlights a lot of the issues at United and some of which I think still exist like weak-minded players and a lack of leadership and terrible recruitment. Please feel free to let me know your thoughts in the comments. 
smash us a like. See you in the next one.